Hey, welcome back to my RC Benchtop. Um, today we've got a mini crawler. Actually, I'll probably call it a micro crawler. It's a 124th scale. The model is HBX, which is high boxing, and it's a 2098B, or as they call it, the Devastator. Now, Devastators are probably a bit of a stretch of the imagination, but um, having run this for the last uh, few weeks now, it's um, it's actually a really good little crawler. So, first of all, let's let's take a look at it. Uh, there's not too much included when you buy it. Um, you've got the instruction manuals there. That's a um, pretty nice colour. It's, it's mostly just an exploded parts diagram, really. Um, but it's fairly well written. Um, pretty good English, so which is a nice surprise. Um, uh, obviously, there's the controller, um, which is a fairly nice unit. It takes three AA batteries. Um, yeah, steering feels pretty basic. Now, the cool thing about this is, I don't know if you can see on there, but you've got four modes that you can choose from. So we'll get into this in a moment, but it has got steering servos on both the front and the rear. Um, that means that you've got any options of normal front and rear steering. You've got rear only steering. You've got four wheel steering. And you can also do crab walking as well. And that's really easy switchable on the remote control by pushing this button, which cycles an LED behind these, um, these lights here to give you each of those modes. Um, pretty cool actually. Uh, trims are basic. Um, you've got a throttle trim and you've got steering trims for both the front and the rear um, rear servos. So kind of a case of everything you need and, and nothing you don't. Um, quite, a, quite a good unit actually. It feels, feels fairly solid in the hand, fits fairly well. Um, even for people who hold it in a stupid way like me. But um, yeah, not a bad little remote. So I'll set that to the side now. Um, again, copy the cover off the boring thing first, little USB charger, yeah, pretty st standard on parts like this, um, 2S output, it is it is a balance plug as you can see, so it is a balance charger, so there's that, but uh, I, don't I don't love those little chargers a lot. Anyway, let's have a look at the little truck, so um, pretty cool little unit, um, interesting for a crawler style, it's got a, um, I guess you'd say a monster truck style of tyre, we'll, we'll get into that later. Uh, anyway, let's um, let's pop the shell off, which is really just a facade for this, this thing, so interesting that they've put a, put a shell standard kind of Lex and shell with um, pretty nifty little body clips really. Yeah. Let's put them to the side. So yeah, pretty pretty standard little um, little body shell. There's stickers that come with it. I don't really like them. I try, kind of like to keep them plain, but I'm a bit boring like that. Um, moving on to the vehicle itself. As you can see, it's actually quite nice. The, um, the, the core parts of the frame are metal, I don't know, steel, galvanized steel, something along those lines. Metal anyway. All the main screws, the linkage screws, are 1.5 millimeter hex, which which is nice. Um, and all of the linkages, unlike the WPL uh, WPL C24 that I reviewed recently, they're all proper linkages. Um, they're turnbuckles. That means they have a lot of adjustability just by um, twisting this round with the, um, the appropriate wrench. Um, yeah, so the chassis is really nice. There's, um, there's very good articulation, as you can see here. Um, the suspension is pretty appropriate for this. Nice, nice soft suspensions that, that aim to keep the, the tyres in contact with the ground as much as possible, sort of regardless of the, of the terrain. Um, coming back to the servos, they're, I think, a little 9 gram unit. Um, I'll just put a note. Uh, a note in there if that I've made a mistake with that one, but yeah, uh, again a basic, a nice basic steering setup. There's um, there's a metal tie rod to the main um, steering arms, um, which is plastic. That's fine. It's it's that nice flexible plastic that can take a bit of a beating. Interestingly, that you look at it, I don't know if you can see it on there, but beautiful little um, little dog bone and cup joints um, on there, and they're actually metal, which is which is pretty amazing to see. Um, bushes are just that. No, actually no, it looks like ball bearings. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so small ball bearings. I don't think it's full ball bearings. I think there are some bushings in there, but that's appropriate because the wheels don't spin fast. You don't do as many revolutions as you would say a, an off-road racing buggy or a basher or, or something along those lines. Um, sticking along, uh, so yeah, look, everything everything is it's pretty much symmetrical. Whatever is on the front is on the rear, um, particularly with the servos. So diffs are locked. Um, there are, from the images I've seen, there are metal drive shafts, metal diffs, which is pretty cool. Diffs are locked, so you, you, there's no diff action there. Not that you want that in a crawler because you want to maximize um, grip where possible. Um, drive shafts underneath, uh, I don't know, it, they, you know, if they're going max, 
as premium as the rest of it. They probably could have put something metal on, but I'm sure there's an upgrade available. Anyway, these ones are plastic. They, they, they're fine. They're fine. They'll they'll wear after time. But these these small cars, they um, that's 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 pretty typical. Um, yeah, not a, not a bad wee setup there. The um, the motor is a I'm not sure what size that. I'll, I'll put a note in. It's um, I'd like to say 180, but it's got a longer longer barrel than what I'm used to. The reduction drive is built in. They're all little metal components, and it'll hook up to the centre drive shaft. So, um, pretty pretty discreet little unit. And if you need to replace the motor, I think it comes as a single part with the the reduction gears there. Um, so that really lays out the mechanicals of it. Um, as I said, nice articulation, and, and particularly when you compare it to the WPO series cars, I do like the metal linkages. That they're proper little ball joints there, rather than just rotating on a little. Um, on a little, oh god, I can't even think of the word at the moment. I'll come back to you on that when I can think of the word. But it's a proper ball joint that allows the full articulation without any um, any stress to that. Um, now, which leaves us really with the electronics. So coming back to the servos, interestingly, they 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 are a five wire unit, which is a little bit of a shame. I mean, I don't think with this this kind of thing you're gonna really be thinking about it, upgrading it anyway because the, the stock ones actually work really well. So two five wire servos, front and rear. Um, and this power, this must be the socket for the motor. So really interesting about this one is that it has a 2S um, 500 milliamp hour battery built into the unit itself. So you don't take it out and plug it in and take it out and charge it. You actually charge it in there. So there's a charging slot like you may have seen on the charger. It doesn't plug, it plugs directly into this unit. It says you charge it for two and a half hours, but I, I haven't seen it, seen it go that long. Um, so it charges it up pretty well, and it's it's very simple. Look, plus sides and minus sides. In my minus sides, you can't have multiple batteries and, and just keep the thing running. But plus sides, it runs for a very long time anyway, maybe half an hour or more. Um, and so you can have quite a long long run, but but you can't just keep going and going and going. You'll need to stop and charge and move on. But um, very nicely integrated unit into there, and, and it's it's well housed housed and protected in the air away from. From water or anything that not that I'd be want to take it swimming but um but yeah for if you're going in through mud and, and sort of grubby stuff it should be fairly well protected but um yeah a really nice build and as I say this is not new to me now I've been running it for a few weeks and and, and it really performs um quite well so um the only downside that I have seen with it um and and it's not a terrible thing because it's something that you can easily change and customize yourself is the tires so interestingly the really nice wheels right they've gone to the effort of getting bead locks that's a proper bead lock in there it's not even glued i mean even the jlb cheetah that i recently reviewed the bigger 18 scale bash and just had glued on rims as most do but these are a proper bead lock rim so um which is great but the tires are hard and the tread pattern i, I don't know i just don't i don't think it's really suitable for what we're doing here um Anyway, they, they, they grip okay, they're fine, they're fine to get started and, and when you lose grip it just take, takes things easier from the transmission. So if you really want get, to get going with this thing, probably change them out for a, um, I think the WPL version 4 wheels. They're really, um, they're, they're, they're apparently really grippy and pretty fairly priced. Price. You can get them directly from WPL for about, I don't know, it's a little bit more than $10 for a set of four um, with free shipping. So that's that's something special. I'll put a link down in the description anyway. But um, yeah, so that's about it for the, the bench review. Um, I'll have some footage uh, just after this and I'll show you um, with me driving it around and a little two-year-old driving it around because it is the speed at which these things go. It makes them really suitable for a learner, um, for a learner driver just to get the feeling for coordinating between throttle and um, and steering and, and being able to put those those two together even if they're just figuring out throttle going backwards and forward is fine it doesn't go fast enough to damage itself it's not not going to break anything else you can do it run it around inside because it is really small because I mean, let's get the ruler out here um, that is it's less than 20 centimeters long which is less than eight inches that's that's really tiny you, you know here's my hand here you can not quite palm of your hand, but you, you, you get you get the picture. It is very small. So set up a track in your backyard. Set up a track track inside your house when it's raining, like it is is over here now. Um, great fun. So I thought I'd little just go into a wee bit more detail about turning this little guy on. So let's the power button. You can actually reach underneath the cell and turn on here. 
just hold that down for about two seconds. Um, there's a little blue LED light. You'll see it when you've got the car, but it's a little bit more difficult to show in here. Yeah, flick on the control. Um, so, yeah, seat steering like that, just front wheel steering. Push the button there. Four wheel steering. Push it again. Crab walking has quite good fun. I don't know what you use it for, but it's good fun. And what else have we got? Um, we've got rear wheel steering again. What are you, what are you going to use that for? It must be a very something very distinct. But but there you go. Um, yeah, so quite a good good little unit there. Um, it's got all the controls you need and, and nothing you don't. Cool. Anyway, I'll um, I'll move on to the um, the videos of me driving it and talk to you soon. Okay, so to wrap up this review, um, we're looking at this little uh, HBX2098 Devastator. It's not a cheap car. I mean, especially if you compare it to the WPL C24, which is around what, um, about sort of forty or fifty dollars. This one's this one's double that price, but it really it really takes a beating. So Jin, my little two-year-old, he has really given given this car. A, car a tough time so he drops it everywhere throws it everywhere the WPL lasted pretty well but the motor did die I've got a replacement coming so we'll give it another test but this thing hasn't really missed a beat um, it's metal all through the um, suspension linkages um, drive shafts are plastic but the drive reduction box itself I think is metal geared there seems to be ball bearings in the key places um, as I said before tyres aren't fantastic but certainly for the most part they're fine um, you can get replacements if you really want to do some some proper cooling but um, for the most part I'd say it's a really good truck try to get it on sale if you can because like I said it is a lot of money for a small car but um, we've been through what five cars and this one seems to be the one that's um, that's lasted the best so look I'll um, I'll leave it there for the review. You can make your own decision. The um, obviously links to the car and some of the other ones that I've talked about down in the description. But um, thanks for coming along to watch, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.